San Marino in their light blue shirts start an international which a few years ago would have been an impossibility. Obviously that we, we won the game quite comfortably but um, I mean I, I look at games and I think to myself what, what have I contributed to the game and obviously I didn't have much, much to do in that game so um, it was more of a, as a spectator really. I don't think Chris Wood is going to see too much of the ball tonight but uh, he'll appreciate a touch there. Barnes heads on, man at the far post and it's there! That Barnesy, John Barnes, do you know what, he was different class at doing that. We always used to put him in the hole there and just try and hit him. He had a nice way of just being able to glance it off, off the top of his head. And it's Batty again. Little chip across and Platt jumps again. And the goalkeeper, well, it's been given. From a goalkeeper's point of view, at least it takes the pressure off when you score a few early doors anyway. So. There's Ferdinand, and there's Platt, and that's number three. That was a good finish, that. Nice feet. And this is Ferdinand, and Palmer's coming in! Four! Well, that's unique, because I don't think he got many headers anyway. It's funny, you know, when you see the goals like coming, you can actually, like, jog your memory. They're offside now. Right back playing him on. Awkward there, and there's the header against the bar. And the... Was that was that over the line? I think you're giving Les the goal there, but I don't know if that might have been over the line from Rodders. Oh. I'm giving that to Tony Adams, I think. Sorry, Les. Marauding left back, Tony Dorego. And the referee takes a look at that and gives a penalty. Oh, he saved it! Unbelievable. Just to think that you missed that and you could have equaled it the record. He's so proud to go out and pull a, an England jersey on to, and to think that you've reached the, the pinnacle that you can, you can go in football by playing for your country. Um, you don't want to let anybody down. And I think that was first and, and foremost, especially being like um, in the position of a goalkeeper because you can have a, a storming game and make one mistake and it could cost you a goal. So, I mean, it, it's so important that um, you, know, you do concentrate and, and like I say, just a, any sort of preparation that you did, you did it whether it was San Marino, whether it was Brazil. You have to be prepared to... Um, uh, uh, make the saves when, when you're called upon and by doing that you have to concentrate and the way that I used to do it, I used to shout and um, scream at the defenders, you know, just for the sake of doing it, um, just to keep me, me involved and, um, you know, I hope for that worked. I'd always work the side of the pitch where the, the, the ball wasn't, if the ball gets transferred then I'm, I'm running across the other side. So I tried to get, kept, keep myself involved with little things like that. You know, you go out there, you, you have to prepare correctly because if you don't do that and you don't get the right result then I mean you're going to get hammered by the you know obviously the, the media so it, it is important that you um, you go out and make sure that you do the job that you're, you're prepared for.